Okay, so this video gonna talk about One Piece chapter 1041 and obviously this video gonna have is gonna be about have spoilers so you have, if you don't have read the chapter yet uh, yeah read the chapter first then watch this okay so we start with uh, Big Mom uh, Law and Kid and obviously we, now we know Kid's name of his devil fruit uh, the man magnetic devil fruit and uh, obviously they yeah they talk and obviously Lo ask a kid and kid say why should I tell you how long my devil fruit will last and all this kind of thing and uh, obviously that probably I don't have to say probably everybody know already that big mom would not die of this kind of uh, thing falling over her obviously it's not uh, any big surprise um, yeah so now obviously Big Mom have grown much bigger she's, and now she's very angry um, uh, yeah um, not, so, not, so, not, so much more to say about Big Mom so that is about Big Mom, part of the Big Mom she's very angry uh, she's always angry so I don't see any difference <laughs> and then we come to more then we, uh, we see uh, Nick Robin and uh, Brook get hunted of two of the member of the CP CP nine. Uh, probably say that wrong, but one of the elite agent a, 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 a people that hunt Nick Robin, and obviously Nick Robin tells Brook that even on belong even round the CP nine, they the guy with the mask they are even uh, an is elite of their own. I think they are special, 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 special agents the, the, the i don't know how to say it it's the best of the best they are uh, you can only okay in a comparison i should say if in the military elite in the united in the army you have uh, delta force and uh, the special delta force uh, in uh, in the ancient world, like the, the, the with the like James Bond, this kind of thing, but if you say James Bond is A A tier, and you say CP nine with the guy with the mask are C tier, they are even better than Bond. They are best of the best. Um, they are uh, ah, you don't can get any better than that. But they are, they are the best of the best. So they run from them. Uh, so what should be, I think it should be very interesting to see what kind of special abilities these characters have. Uh, we only know one of we only know two of them. Obviously, Rob Lucci, the other guy I totally forget his name, but he turned to a big. Uh, um, oh, so I'm very sorry. Uh, <coughs> uh, this uh, uh, famous animal, uh, a giraffe, um, a giraffe, a, a leopard. Uh, the other guys we don't know, and then we uh, we see Yamato uh, in her uh, wolf devil fruit form, mythical devil fruit form, um, running through different walls, and then she meets uh, Axel Drake. Axel Drake fight against Apu. Apu talking lots of nonsense. Um, then we see some of the <laughs> uh, the big giant, you know. Um, so we see all of this, and obviously I know that I take different part of the chapter that is not in order. Obviously, Big Mom's part is in the end of the chapter, uh, but I think that was the most in one of the most interesting. But the mo probably the most interesting part when Sanji talks with Sorrow and tells Sorrow that. Uh, you have to put me down. That means uh, Sorrow. If some sorry probably not gonna happen but sorry will be the guy to have to stop Sanji after uh, then we see Sanji knocks down Queen with his some kind of fire leg attack and obviously uh, Queen is <sighs> this is one piece so yeah we don't know if uh, Queen is out or Queen will get up in the next chapter and so I say Maybe Queen is out, or maybe not. I'm not sure, and that is probably the only complaints I have about One Piece is this 
these kind of things is that n no one really dies besides obviously uh, so that we know about is dead is obviously uh, um, ace uh, white beard uh, Nami's adopted mother uh, that adopts a Nami um, that is probably and obviously uh, Mom Momonet uh, this is the only characters that are known are dead like really dead they are not come back again they are dead um, so if I don't if I, the character I think if any of the strat pirates will die in Vanu uh, that is just my speculation uh, who I think will die is obviously who I think will die is uh, Nico Robin um, not because she is weak I think if she dies she she's have the most Im impact if she die and I think she will die in a very, if she die, uh, she will die in a very, very noble course because she, she probably gonna do something that helps the Strohat Pirate to, es uh, to escape from one from the CP, CP, uh, uh, the, the CP guys. And obviously then she have, she maybe have, she have to sacrifice herself to save them and this, so I think that is the biggest thing because the f war before with uh, to save Ace, uh, Ace died and White Bear died. So two important characters die in that war. No important character yet have died in in Rano. I um, yeah. What I mean with this, not, there's no really important character have died. Maybe it sounds very heartless to say this kind of thing. But you have to understand something is that is in is very very differences with Nico Robin in comparison to the the scabbards. I don't talk about power level level. I don't talk about who is the fastest, who is the kickest hardest, who swing the swords best. I talks about the character that can change the One Piece world. So you have to understand Nico Robin is the only one so far that lives today lives in the one piece world that can read the poneglyph without reading the poneglyph you can never find that what is one piece is you can never find it no matter what what kind of swordsman you have no matter what kind of cook you have no matter what kind of doctor you have no matter what kind of fighting ship you have if you cannot read the poneglyph you you will nothing will happen no matter what you do you still just a normal pirate, even if you have the best of the best of the best devil fruit like paramecia, mythical paramecia, mythical lugia, mythical devil fruit. No matter. The only reason why in the One Piece world the Straw Hat pirate is the most dangerous pirate pirate crew is not because they are powerful. That they they, they have Nick Robin on their side. So this is the interesting thing. So if she die. In Vano, that means that it's going to be extremely huge blow to the to to the Strahd pirate. Obviously, the most big, extremely big blow, because they're gonna some very very important character will be gone from their crew that have lots of intelligence about this important thing. Um, so this is what I mean. So with and you also have to understand, without Nico Robin. The world government will never really care about the Strahd Pirates. Okay, they care a little bit about them, but the most part they care about the Strahd Pirates is because of Nico Robin. And the reason why why the world government are so afraid, frightened of the Strahd Pirates is because of Nico Robin. Because Nico Robin can tell the world about the truth. She can, she's the only one that can do that. And this is why they take so much effort to stop Nico Robin. They never take that. They know that Sorrow is strong with his sword. They know that Sanji is a good uh, character. They obviously know all about that, but they don't really care because they know that obviously they gonna can do huge amounts of damage. But it's one thing to do huge huge amounts of damage, but it's a totally different thing 
to totally turn the world upside down and turn the world to a really big civil war, um, if you can say it like that. And I think maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm super wrong here, but it's just my prediction here. I just predict that that maybe people don't see... Okay, I don't want to sound arrogant, absolutely not, but I just, okay. I just f think, obviously you can prove me wrong here, but I honestly f I think that many of the people that are fans to Destroy Pirates maybe don't really, maybe, don't really see Nick Robin as a really as a big threat in comparison to Sanji, Monkey Luffy and Zoro or even Jinbei. I think maybe they, most of them when they do, for example, top 10, top 20, strongest character, they always think about power level. They always think about who can punch the hardest, who can cut the fastest, who is the most looking, most aggressive. But I think they forgot about a character that is intelligence. For example, you, like most in popularity polls, you have Monkey Luffy number one, number two, you have Sorrow, number three, you have Sanji. If you do it, if you do of always at the top 20, 30, 60 characters, the most popular in One Piece world, you always do we have this as top characters. But I think the most interesting characters, really, that really change, can change what about the One Piece world is Nico Robin. So I said before, without her, they will never ever have done anything. This is the reason why, for example, the emperors are not pirate kings. There's a reason for that because they cannot, they have not written the poem. They have still not found the One Piece. Even after Golden Roger's death, they still not find it. You have to think about that right now. You have the emperors with all of their military crews. You have, and they still are not, ha still have not found what One Piece is. No one have found One Piece. The only one that have found it was Gold Roger. So that is also very interesting. Gold Roger find it, and that is interesting. Who of them was able to read the polyglyph? So all of this, I think, is very is interesting because. It means something that that One Piece is something very, very, very special that no of the emperors have found yet. Yeah, um, yeah. and uh, so obviously, that's, I think I just think that Nick Robin will die in Vano in some way. Uh, that is just my speculation. That something will happen. That she have maybe have to save the crew in some way, and because uh, from the C uh, CP nine, um, for we now we know that CP nine hunting Nick Robin and Brooke, and obviously uh, they don't want Brooke. They want Nick Robin. So yeah, so Nick Robin knows that. So um, and then we have uh, obviously Zoro um, with uh, Sanji and so, uh, so, Sanji tells Zoro that uh, that you have to put me down after he defeat uh, defeat Queen. Well, we, yeah, if Queen is defeated. Um, so the, oh, yeah, so that is the chapter was interesting, was good, uh, lots of interesting thing. My favorite part is with uh, uh, Sanji and Queen. Uh, Nico Robin and Brooke um, and oh, Big Mom <coughs> is okay. I don't like obviously. <coughs> sorry, I don't like Big Mom as a character, but I think Big Mom have a really cool devil fruit. Uh, the soul, soul, no me. Uh, uh, that is a cool ability. Um, but I think. Um, I, and obviously then in the, in the beginning of the chapter we see lots of the right hand men to the emperors. We see uh, Marco for Whitebeard, we see King for Kaido, we see Shir Shiri of the Rain for Blackbeard. Um, we see 
Ben Backman for uh, um, Redhead Shank, sorry, Redhead Shank, and we see uh, Killer for Kid. Um, yeah, um, but I'm not certain. I probably say wrong here, but is I don't know if Katakuri is the right hand man of Big Mom. It's not Katakuri left hand. It's not. Uh, um, Smooth, I don't know, Smoothie, and um, the right hand man for Big Mom. I don't know. Um, I probably say totally wrong thing here, but I looks like all of the right hand men, but that means even Sora was there. But obviously, some of them was not even a member of the um, Emperor. For example, we have uh, Sabu, and Sabu is, um, yeah, it, it's a, I think, yes, yeah, so all of the right hand men, and anyways, are there. And for Sabu is the right hand man of the dragon, uh, Monkey D. Luffy's father. Um, and these guys, all of them are there. Um, I still think that the Black Bear Pirates will come to Vano, and I think Black Bear will defeat Big Mom and take her devil fruit. As I said before, I think uh, the soul soul fruit will work very, good, very, very good for Blackbeard. That's a good, very good ability. For his what his purpose is in the One Piece world, um, yeah. And the other good thing is that it's not going to be any break next week. So uh, next Friday, we're going to continue Asian with chapter one thousand thirty uh, two. Um, yeah, and soon maybe uh, Kaido uh, will be defeated in some way. Same for Big Mom in some way, maybe. In the hands of Blackbeard, or maybe not. Um, yeah, um, yeah. The only f only complaints I have about One Piece is the death. Uh, the, the death don't really means anything because nobody really dies in One Piece. Only the these four or five characters have really died in One Piece. Maybe one more, but it's not. You know what I mean? If if you read uh, about the chapter, you see somebody looks like they are dead and then come back like five, six, twelve chapters later, or maybe more, and they come back again and say, oh, I'm back again, he. You understand? It, it takes away the things of the, the impact. It's, well, a good example, that is not manga, but that is in comics, that is Superman, Death of Superman, the Man of Steel, after Superman had defeat uh, and die against Doomsday. In some chapters later, uh, we see Superman come back to life again, and all of this. You understand what I mean? Like The whole purpose of this perfect Superman comic with Doomsday, Superman dies, he really dies, and then he come back again to life. You know what I mean? It's, it's like... It's not per you know what I mean. It's just it takes away the purpose of the story. The same for the killing joke when Batman kills a Joker. Um, that is the same thing. Like I know this multiple universe in the DC in DC universe. I know that it's all of this kind of. Thing. But this really takes away the purpose. If if Joker dies in one of the universe or Batman dies in one of the universe, no matter meaning anything because they are twelve, six, seven, eighty more universe they are still alive in. Uh, so this is what I mean. I think if somebody dies in a comic or in manga or in a movie, they should stay dead. Because then is more a purpose to the story. For example, if you read for example Lord of the Ring and we say that Boromir dies in the first uh, book or the movie and then he come back again Life again uh, as a human, alive again, maybe in uh, f in five movies later, and so on. Maybe five books later, come back alive again. You know what I mean? It's like really, really takes away the purpose uh, with it. I think um, and that is my only complaints with this kind of thing. It's like I think always the reason why uh, <coughs> Superman. Do not die a uh, permanent death. <coughs> Sorry, it's because of the popularity. It's because 
people cannot stand if Superman is dead. Like, even if you can find a totally new, cool superhero that can take his place with totally different powers and totally different backstory and all of this kind of thing, as people still cannot stand a big change. Uh, and that is just how it works. I think that is really... A, that is a reason, for example, in One Piece that uh, Sabu has uh, Ace uh, Devilful power um, is because I I think they is is pro is problematic. It's just that it's just problem with um, this kind of thing. I think it's a really complete. I think there is also a reason for, for example, with Game of the Throne. Why Game of the Throne was so popular is because the Game of the Throne would do something very unique that kills off their main characters f from really in the beginning of the story in Game of Thrones. Uh, that is very rare to see in the popular stories, They're really, really rare to see. Um, and uh, obviously... So, yeah, so this is the special thing with Game of Thrones, is that. Uh, and I think, and obviously Game of Thrones are not for kids. A uh, lot of things that they have in... <coughs> <coughs> They have in Game of Thrones uh, are not uh, not for kids, and obviously One Piece is more. Obviously, One Piece is for everybody. They, they don't have any, yeah, you know, these kind of things. Um, um, so obviously, they don't can really go out this way. They cannot uh, obviously if. <coughs> <clears throat> the reason why I think Nico Robin maybe die in Vano it's also because Yamato. <coughs> <coughs> so Yamato, if Nico Robin die, I think Yamato can also read the polyglyph. I don't know if, if I'm not mistaken myself. So uh, Yamato would be almost like Sabu takes Ace place, Yamato takes Nico Robin's place. Um, uh, that is just a speculation uh, I have. Uh, that will end one p end in Vano that Nico Robin dies and then Jamu takes takes her place. Um, yeah, uh, <coughs> <coughs> yeah. That is everything I really want to say about the chapter. The chapter was yeah was good. Um, and yeah.